Hi friends, it's Treva Preet from your Canton Library, and I have a story to share with you today. This story is called In November. Hmm, what kind of things happen in November? Join me for this sweet story, and we're going to find out. Are you ready? Here we go. In November by Cynthia Ryland, illustrated by Jill Kastner. In November, the earth is growing quiet. It is making its bed, a winter bed for flowers and small creatures. The bed is white and silent, and much life can hide beneath its blankets. In November, the trees are standing, all sticks and bones. Without their leaves, how lovely they are, spreading their arms like dancers. They know it's time to be still. In November, some birds move away and some birds stay. The air is full of goodbyes and well wishes. The birds who are leaving look very serious. No silly spring chirping now. They have long journeys and must watch where they are going. The staying birds are serious too, for cold times lie ahead, hard times. All berries will be treasures. In November, animals sleep more. The air is chilly and they shiver. Cats pile up in the corners of barns. Mice pile up under logs. Bees pile up in deep earthly holes. And dogs lie before the fire. In November, the smell of food is different. It is an orange smell, a squash and a pumpkin smell. It tastes like cinnamon and can fill up a house in the morning. And it can pull everyone from bed in a fog. Food is better in November than any other time of the year. In November, people are good to each other. They carry pies to each other's homes and talk by crackling wood stoves, sipping mellow cider. They travel very far on a special November day just to share a meal with one another and to give thanks for their many blessings, for the food on their tables and the babies in their arms. And then they travel back home. In November, at Winter's Gate, the stars are brittle. The sun is a sometime friend. And the world has tucked her children in with a kiss on their heads till spring. Thank you for listening. I hope you liked the story. Did you know that on Saturday mornings, we have story time right here at the Canton Library? We sure do at 1030 on Saturdays. If you would like to call ahead to reserve your spot, please do at 620-628-4349. We are limiting our numbers right now to 10 children. So if you do call ahead, that would be fabulous. But if not, Walk-ins are welcome. Just know that if we are overbooked, you might have to come back another time. Thank you and have a wonderful day.